Pretty quiet start of the week so far. We may see some showers, though, that may impact your morning commute. We're tracking that right now as we, uh, first of all, look outside at a star-filled morning. Stars, but clouds are starting to take over at Austin. This is live from our Lewiston Auto Camera uh, in Austin. Pretty uh, tranquil scene, at least thus far. We're tracking some activity down radar. This is really weak stuff that's falling apart now, coming out of Glencoe, moving toward Lakeville. This is all northwest of us. Twin Cities down toward Mankato, drifting uh, in our general direction, but looking at the possibility of a little bit of Lightning. Some of that sneaking into the area of a couple of showers have uh, just in the last hour or so popped up just west of Mason City. All this ahead of an approaching warm front. So showers may go on until about uh, eight, maybe nine o'clock this morning at the at the latest. So a brief shower, maybe a rumble of thunder, and then back into full sunshine for the afternoon. Weather uh, situation right now, the weather patio at 69 degrees outside our studio. Uh, the winds pretty light out of the southwest, 2.60, pretty manageable stuff there. The humidity in the next couple of days really is going to ramp up, though. It's going to be much more humid, much warmer those afternoon hours, similar to what we've had recently. No change in those temperature uh, uh, schemes, uh, not for the next few days, but we will see changes down the road, maybe a, a respite from the heat by the end of the week. 67 right now, Rochester is 71 in Plainview. Mason City 66 this hour uh, here in the Med City. Officially at the airport in Rochester at 67. Winds out of the southwest. Dew point 59. That's not too bad. Showers coming in from the northwest. Uh, really weakening as we get closer, but we'll keep an eye on that. Chance of rumble of thunder or two. Not severe weather by any means out of the situation. Storm system approaching for the west will be the focus of more rain chances today, tomorrow through Wednesday. Uh, and then things really settle down later in the week. But the severe weather risk today, mainly north of us. Later this afternoon, other complex of storms is expected to move through central and northern Minnesota into Wisconsin. For us, glancing blow from that, some storms possible here tonight, but not severe weather. Tomorrow, there is a higher chance of severe weather. In fact, level two out of five, the slight risk of severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center for uh, mainly tomorrow evening. This is going to be a 7, 8, 9 o'clock event. Looks like we may see some strong storms, all modes of severe weather. Still possible, primarily damaging wind gusts. The may, big concern, but we may see a slight chance of tornadoes as there will be just a, a marginal setup for supercell activity. So we'll be watching that for tomorrow night, again, Wednesday evening and Wednesday night as more of that activity fires up along that approaching storm system and then it moves through the area and things really quiet down for the latter part of the week. 67 right now in Rochester, 50 in International Falls, uh, 69 in uh, Dodge City, Kansas, 75 a lot warmer in St. Louis and humidity really building southward upper 60s, low 70 dew points. So far, we're getting kind of break here at 59, but that's going to change in the next day or so. So morning showers and some storms. The warm front moves through. We'll have more thunderstorm chances, more heat and humidity next couple of days. And then by the time with Thursday and Friday, and certainly over the weekend, not as hot, but brief showers and thunderstorms around 7, 8 o'clock, maybe 9 this morning. Then we're back to sunshine, 86 around 2 o'clock, a high overall around 88, which is 8 degrees above average. 80 would be the climate average for this uh, second half of July. Temperatures easing back into the 70s for tonight. So Here's future track We're looking at the possibility of showers this morning, sunshine this afternoon. Another complex of thunderstorms has developed storm northwest comes in later tonight. Some of it weakening severe weather risk north and east of us. And then tomorrow some sunshine, maybe a brief shower first thing in the morning left over from last uh, from tonight's activity that is and then heading our way tomorrow night and again for Wednesday night. In additional complexes of thunderstorms ahead of that storm system as it then dives to the area. By the weekend, things look quieter and after a storm or two on Saturday and otherwise some sunshine and you see those numbers there a little more seasonable, a little more comfortable, but rain chances today, tomorrow and Wednesday, mainly early and late. So evening storm chances each of those days and then some afternoon activity on Saturday. Temperatures by the end of the week looking better though. 90s, we go back to the low 80s. That's a little more typical for this time of the year. Pretty tolerable stuff. 88 today, though, in Rochester, 89 Mason City, uh, 88 in Glenville at the Pop Shed with southwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, uh, some thunderstorms likely, especially late in the evening and overnight. 68 degrees and seven day forecast. I've scattered storm chances tomorrow morning and night, and again, mainly Wednesday night and then, or evening anyway, and then things. Quiet down for the most part later this week, but we'll have to watch the severe weather risks those, uh, the next two nights and then uh, watch for some uh, a break from heat and humidity later on. With all the sun we've had, a little bit of cloud cover seems nice. It would be, and rain would be awesome too. Certainly.